Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to compute a frequency. Okay, let's say that this is the data that we have received to um, from, an, uh, from a research or from a data collection. So from this pool of data, or from the pool of these numbers, what we need to do is we have to create a frequency distribution. We need to organize them into a tabular format. Why? Because it will be easier to determine um, what is actually going on in the data that we have received. We are able to get information, what is the most frequently occurring number and so on. So what will be the steps in organizing them into a, a frequency table? Step one is to identify the lowest and highest score in your data that you have received. So from the data that you have, what is the lowest score? You notice the lowest score is 4. What is the highest score that you have? You notice the highest score is 10. So step 2 is to create a frequency table with two columns. So column 1, column 2. The first column lists all the scores that we have obtained from our data or from our information. The second column represents the frequency and it is represented with small letter F. So what we need to do is we, since we know what is the lowest and we have the highest score, we list them out from 4, 5, 6 until 10. Then we count how many times this number 4 or the score 4 appears in your data. So we calculate from there the, the number of times from the information that we have. So we have 4 only once. So we write here 1. How many times 5 appears in your data? There is none. So what do you do? We put a dash or we can put a zero. So we do the same thing until number 10 or for score 10. Score 10 appears how many times in your data? It appears twice. So you put two. So but when you add these frequencies, when you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2, you will get a total score of we get a total score of how many? It will be the total score of your data. So how many do you have? 2, 7, 10, 9. So you will get 20. 20. So when you calculate the number of scores you have here, you will have also 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So when you add them up, you will get 20. So when you count the num the step 3 was actually what we did was count the number of times the score appears on your data, which is the frequency. So when you add them up, you will get 20. So Imagine from these data, you actually transform to a much simpler table format. So from here, you quickly can know which is the most frequently occurring score. So which one? Number 8 because it appears 7 times. So it appears the most time compared to the any of the scores. But when we just look at these scores by without organizing it, you are unable to identify which one is the one occurring the most frequently. Thank you.